This video is how to swap crypto on SunSwap, which is the leading decentralized exchange on the Tron network. I'm gonna be swapping on here. I'm gonna be using my Tron link wallet as well, connecting this to the DAP. I'll show you how to connect, how to pay for gas fees and swap tokens in this video. Timestamps for everything down in the description below. Before swapping any tokens on the Tron network, we have to talk about how to pay for gas on Tron. Now, if you know about energy and bandwidth, you can skip this section, but if you're new, essentially on the Tron network, Unlike other networks that just use the layer one coin for gas and you pay for that in the layer one coin, Tron works a bit differently. It works on a system of energy and bandwidth. Bandwidth, we get 600 per day for free. That's a couple of transactions with TRX. Energy, this is used for swapping coins using uh, smart contracts. We don't get any of this for free, but if we have energy, we can actually reduce our transaction fees by about 80 to 90%. If you don't have energy and bandwidth, you'll just pay for the transaction fee in TRX, just like other networks, but it is gonna be a bit more expensive. How do we get energy and bandwidth? Well, if you have a Tron Link wallet or any other wallet on the Tron blockchain, you get 600 bandwidth per day for free. You don't get any energy, so you can use the TRX that you have in your wallet and you can stake it. So we'll go to stake, then stake for resources, and you can see that I can stake an amount of my TRX and I get an amount of energy each day. So I haven't got enough to actually pay for one transaction. I'd need to put more TRX in here and stake it. But just to show you, if you have some TRX, you can stake it and you can get free energy each day just for staking. And the same for bandwidth. You can stake an amount and you get some free bandwidth for that staking. You can stake it and then unstake it pretty easily. So that's how you get energy and bandwidth, essentially staking your TRX instead of using it to pay for transaction fees. There is another way to get energy if you don't wanna buy a load of TRX and stake it for the long term. Go down to Discover, go down to Just Lend DAO Energy Rental, and from here I can actually rent energy. Essentially what I'm doing here is just paying a small amount of TRX out to rent energy, and that's gonna reduce my transaction fees. So what we'll do is rent some energy so I can rent, let's say 200,000, like this and that will give me an amount of energy that I can actually use for transactions, reduce my transaction fees, and then when I'm done, I just end the rental. So I've actually got a rental, you can see right here, I've got the current order around 270,000 uh, energy. So that's gonna give me a few transactions for this uh, tutorial, and then when I'm done, I can actually end that rental and get my TRX back, and I've reduced my transaction fees. If you wanna know exactly how to do that, I've got a Tron link tutorial video, I'll link it down in the description below. Now we can go ahead and swap some tokens on SunSwap. I'm gonna do it in my phone. If you have the web app, just connect wallet. If you have your phone, you can connect via QR code, via Wallet Connect. If you have Tron Link extension on your browser, you can connect it via that way as well. I'll show you how to get to it in the application. Go down to Discover and then SunSwap here and it's gonna uh, put us through to the app and we just connect our wallet. There are different versions of SunSwap. I'm gonna go on to the V3 version right here and then in the top right hand corner, it says connect wallet. I'm gonna connect with Tron Link at the top and my wallet is connected. So from here, we're gonna use V3 and we're gonna swap one token for another. Now that my wallet is connected, it should read my token balances. You can see TRX here, I've got a balance. You're going to need one token as value to swap into another. So either TRX or USDT or one of the other coins, you're gonna need that and then swap it into another one. Now, if you don't have energy and bandwidth, you're also going to need TRX because you're going to have to pay for the gas fees with TRX as well. If you want some deposit bonuses to the centralized exchanges I use to buy TRX, I'll leave them uh, at the top of the video description as well. So we're gonna look at my wallet balances. We're gonna go to TRX here, we're gonna click this. You can, uh, you should be able to see that I have a balance of USDT right here, around $8 or so. And we're gonna go to settings first. And then from here, we're gonna set our slippage tolerance. So slippage is the difference between the price quote that you're gonna get given for the swap and then the actual price that's traded on the blockchain. There may be a slight difference between that and depending on the size of your order, um, it may actually increase the amount of slippage from the price quote that you're given. So for large tokens like TRX and USDT, I actually would expect very low slippage around 0.1% but you can give it 0.5% if you want, just to make sure the trade gets done. For smaller tokens, especially meme coins and other things, slippage tolerance usually goes up, liquidity is low, and you know it, you just need more slippage tolerance because trades are happening and it can move uh, the price a lot. So you may need more slippage tolerance if you're trading smaller coins. For me, I'm just gonna put 0.5% and the deadline for one minute is fine for me. So for right here, I'm gonna swap an amount of USDT and I'm gonna select the token that I wanna swap it into Again, you can choose any of them. I'm just gonna swap it back into TRX here. 
So it should now give me the price quote that we're looking for. So it's gonna swap the USDT, it's gonna take a strange route between different assets, but it's giving me the best uh, trade it can. And you can see here that you can add a recipient. So if you don't want to swap the coin into your own wallet, you actually want to swap it and give it to a different wallet, you can put that wallet address in here if you want. I wanna swap it in the same wallet, so we'll keep it. Uh, so we're gonna just uh, unclick that. You can see the price here, the price quote and everything. I'm just gonna repress this to get the uh, freshest price quote. Price impact, transaction fees is very, very small in USDT, so no problem. Uh, we're gonna press swap. We're gonna confirm this, and then we need to sign it in our wallet. Now you can see right here, the first thing I'm doing is approving the USDT. USDT is a token built on top of Tron, and in order for our wallet to be able to trade it, we have to approve the DEX to manipulate the balance in our wallet. So we're gonna approve this first. You can see the resources here. If I scroll down, we're using some energy, we're using some TRX, right? So we're using up the energy and that's reducing our transaction fees a little bit. So I'm gonna approve that and then put in my uh, password. Once that's done, I'll press confirm and eventually that should approve the USDT. Now we've not traded yet. We're just approving the USDT contract for our wallet. You can see that's confirmed. So now I'm gonna press confirm swap and go through the same thing again. Now you can see that I'm actually triggering this smart contract and we're actually gonna trade the tokens. Down here, resources, I'm using energy here. And if you look at this and I scroll down, consume bandwidth and consume energy, a huge amount, right? So if you don't have these in your wallet, if you're not renting them or if you're not staking TRX, transaction fees are really high. So you can reduce them by staking your TRX and using energy and bandwidth. So I highly recommend that. Otherwise you're paying huge transaction fees. In any case, I've got that USDT, so I can swap that, uh, press confirm, that swaps the USDT into the other token TRX in this case, but transaction fees are high unless you use energy and bandwidth. The full Tron link wallet guide is below and explains energy and bandwidth a little bit more and centralized exchange bonus links down in the description below. I'm James, it's Money ZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.